$700 million was recently routed through a bank account in Kyrgyzstan by an anonymous shell company set up in the city of London. I would like to establish an anonymous company. Here's the weird part. The company was actually set up in the name of someone who had died three years before the company was registered. But it turns out that $700 million is actually small change because a trillion dollars is siphoned out of countries every year. Much of the money is laundered through companies registered to anonymously owned, totally untraceable companies, as well as the odd dead guy. The trillion that's been pinched isn't being used to fight poverty and disease, it's being used to fund everything from the lavish lifestyles of corrupt individuals to the destructive actions of terrorists. So just how big is a trillion? Let's take a look. A trillion one dollar bills placed end to end would wrap around the earth almost 4,000 times and look what happens when you stack it up in 100 dollar bills. It's a skyscraper of cash. This particular skyscraper is at 650 Fifth Avenue in New York. It was owned by Iranian foundations that used shell companies to funnel money to Iranian state bank Meli. So the rent of innocent businesses had, thanks to anonymous company ownership, been unwittingly helping to support the Iranian regime. Much of the dirty cash isn't laundered on some far-flung tropical island. No, sadly, it's hidden in some of the world's biggest financial centers. So what can a trillion dollars buy? Well, if you'd spent a million dollars a day every day since, say, Jesus was born, you'd still be less than three quarters of the way to the full trillion. And you'd also have the world's biggest messiah complex. Theodore and Obiang, son of the president of Equatorial Guinea, had a damn good go at it, though, allegedly spending more than $300 million on luxury homes as well as sports cars, artwork, wine, and Michael Jackson memorabilia. US authorities claim this money came from corruption, which Mr. Obiang has denied. All this while one in seven children under the age of five in his own country were dying from malaria, dirty water, lack of basic medical care, and other preventable causes. It feels like a game. A game where only a few know the rules. So what can we do about it? Well, how about something we've all wanted to do for an age? Slap a banker. Felt good. But look, don't hate the player. Hate the game. It's the system that needs a slap. The most powerful countries on earth have the ability to bring in smart laws that could make terrorism and theft harder to commit and help make sure money goes where it can do the most good. So what the hell are you waiting for? Change doesn't happen because you watched a bloody video. It happens because you did something about it.